Hi guys, so I have some really nice backing music on today and I'm so excited to uh, read with you the Inside Degree with me, Chloe Rose, and Daily Astrology where I help you to set intentions and build your intuition using tools that are like astrology, tapping, all of these wonderful resources that we can constantly find ourselves back at square one with. And it brings a lot of joy to not only us, but to our communities when we are able to regulate our emotions just with perspective. So uh, today is Venus Day. And uh, wow, I needed perspective all day today. I, I utilized my tools and I made sure to work with Goddess Kali. Um, I'm doing a course with the angel Raphael and it's just such a great uh, way of putting your spiritual growth on um, open, just being open to grow spiritually. And um, there is a lot surfacing in, in pain with it, with me because Leo um, is heavily in my chart, it's placed throughout it. And Black Moon Lilith is transiting it. So my biggest fears are coming up and I'm finding like, Basically, the transit that we have now with uh, the Sun in Aries and Moon in Aquarius is showing us with our identity the ways that we might have um, appeared in the outer world in our decision making. And we've come over a 10 degree decade uh, with the Moon today. So the Moon has activated a lot of our recent past, maybe 10 to seven years ago, like how, who we were to ourselves. And now the opportunities that are arising are asking us to be more patient with ourselves, more devoted to these things that we've wanted for so long and we've tried everything, but nothing's ever worked. And now we're learning to actually just be patient with ourselves and to be consistent. Um, my work with Kali is with the Kali Oracle deck. And along with that, the angel Raphael, like during this week of integration, I'm revisiting my personal power and being asked to really like tailor my life's experience. How do I want to feel moment to moment? And then today, just like a cliff led to like this violent sweeping in innerly of like the current of me holding on to breath and just allowing for the vortex to settle in because this vortex that I've rode the last past year has been so powerful, so rewarding, so transformative. And um, if you are doing this work, you're gonna be more triggered than ever with all this fire activating our passion and um, really asking us to be the ideal version of ourselves, which means that we are kind and compassionate. We are understanding, we are asking a, a bit more of ourselves. And, um, you know, I'm being asked to really like sit and hone my gifts and to be patient with this process. And like the craziest feelings come up, but I'm willing to be with them because of my daily practice and my daily study of astrology. Um, I've been doing the Grace of God meditation, which you take each finger on an inhale, 10, exhale 10, and each time you inhale and exhale, you say, I am the grace of God. You do it 100 times, 10 times for each finger, and honestly, I did it in the bath yesterday. That was the best experience of it. It sets the aura and welcomes in blessings and transformations because the bigger that cliff you're jumping onto, the bigger the valley and the more that is getting filled with this new intent that is based on our passions. And due to all the Taurus placements, um, currently we have Mercury retrograding in Taurus. Uh, we've got uh, Uranus. I think the retrograde just began today. It might like officially move tomorrow. Um, or else it might be in pre-shadow. I'm not really sure. Um, <laughs> uh, and Uranus and Taurus, they're asking us to make new decisions around our actions with ourselves. So what is being asked of you on this Venus day with 
four degrees Venus. Um, Elias Lindsay again, he's written the Christ letters and those were so powerful. I read them during the Christmas season on audiobook. So it was really a lot of just mental imagery, but I've just been using affirmations from this book. Um, I think a few months before Christmas actually, or else it was definitely around like November at least, and they've um, completely changed me for like the goodness of all. So Gemini 4 degrees, Elias Lonesdale, an island just visible off the coast. When the future's alive, all of its many dimensions flourish in the world away from the commonly mapped out standard territory. The inward twin, is given free reign to picture and dream into and even open the space toward what can be and what shall be in more vibrant worlds to come. The outward twin carries on as ever in the accustomed role of maintaining the status quo. With so little energy is given to this one, and so much life force is funneled into sensing new worlds and exploring all the amazing places which these new worlds spark on the inside of the soul, timelessly and authentically. So I think that, um, Anywhere that we're limited, it's time to get those imagination skills running. Time to um, take that day of rest. As I was studying Neville Goddard today, read by Josiah Brand. And um, the day of rest is like the moment that you just tap into that infinite state of like having achieved through effort and like really just seeing the big picture with all of our efforts. So give yourself grace today if you're activating as much pain as I am. Just know that you're transmuting so much um, that's not serving. So it's eclipse season. It's okay to align with the highest potential timeline where you just drop behaviors that limit or restrict the highest vibration of you in each moment. Um, while I'm looking at a room full of beautiful paintings, like in the past have been a bit critical but it's my first time painting this style. That's like figurative, um, colorful, maximalist, but like openly so. And uh, you know, I'm not quite sure what will come of this work, but just like this astrology, I feel like it's healing me in ways that um, would be like health conditions. You know, I, I'm not sure how the science of expressing joy works, but I'm sure that consistent release of serotonin, which I, I feel as I share these messages with you, as I do this work on my own, I do believe that it boosts my immune system in ways that continue to create health and radiance in my body when otherwise all of these emotions that are coming up, if I was still suppressing them, oh my gosh, if I was still acting on the rage that I feel, I understand that that level of cortisol cannot be good for anyone. And calming the cortisol does, does require tears. It requires sometimes an outward expression of grief. Um, so don't be afraid to express that grief. Don't be afraid to transmute that grief. And um, I'm also finding that giving myself the sweet honor of just being like, it's okay that you don't know how to do this right now. You are a small baby in this way. My last name, Malishkin, means baby family. And um, it gives me a lot more empathy for my stepdaughters to just, like, be a beginner at something. And I think that that's actually a positive quality for anyone raising children to have, is to be constantly engaging and learning something because we can relate more readily to the crying child who doesn't need their needs to be minimized but needs to feel seen just like we do. Blessings on your Venus day. May your day be just as amazing as mine has been. And I look forward to seeing you guys for Saturn day. Tomorrow, Saturday. Blessings. Aloha.